Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Okay, we got a we got a fight at 7-Eleven up here. Two females. Um, we're not sure if there's any weapons or not, but the clerk in the 7-Eleven called and said that uh, they're fighting and it's getting worse and worse, whichever, whatever that means. So we're going to go check it out. We're just up the street. One two. Hospital 416 animated Brooks and uh, Lucy, come out with, uh, without, I'll be out with two. What happened? Hospital 416. Your brother did this? Your brother did it. Yeah, he went bam, bam. And, and he took my baby with him in his arm. I found yeah. And he knocked me out. My mother punched me right here because she wouldn't take me home and my baby. There's a head full of blonde hair in there. I don't know if it's hers or hers. Yeah, what? She's 450 right now. What's, what's your name? And my wallet's in her car. All right, we'll get, we'll get the wallet in a minute. Okay? Just calm down, Mo. We'll get the medical out here and take a look at you. How you doing there, shorty? When I was you want to give me the other one, or you want to be stupid two. again? No, you get smart with me. Okay. Uh, you guys asked me, though, dude. Now, we'll play my All game, right. okay? All right. I'm going to win. Now, I'm going to ask you again, in a short version. It's what happened here? They were in the car, and then they just started. It, I told my mom to get gas, and so she pulled in here. And then they started thinking, oh, you want to do this to me? And they started talking about boyfriends. And then next thing I know, I told them, you guys both stop. And then they just start hitting each other, pulling each other's hair. I had my sister. I got bangs, and she started pulling my hair. Then, and then I go to get my sister. I'm trying to get the baby out of their hands, because the baby's going to end up getting hit out of one of them. And they're both on swings. And I'm just trying to get my nephew out of the whole thing. I go into 7-Eleven, and I ask him, excuse me, sir, could you please call 911? And then he's like, well, he dialed the um, non-emergency number. Then he, I got to 911 there. My sister comes in, starts hitting me. Well, she didn't hit me. She just starts giving the baby, trying to pull me and everything. And then that's what happened. Then you guys got here now. You ever been arrested? Nope. Did he say if he... 433'd her? Is he denying that? Mm -hmm. He never touched her. Ask my mom. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do him. He never touched her. Uh, got in a fight. Uh, mother punched her in the jaw on this side. Brother punched her right in the eye. She was knocked out. She doesn't know how long. Okay. Why am I just locked into a closet? Well, we're just we're investigating right now, so it's just Why better to get everybody with. Okay. Wrong. Well, can you tell me what tell me what happened then, so I can understand what's going on? My daughter beat the out of me, and she over, looks worse than me. She stole over what? My... Over what? Well, because I'm driving, we're supposed to go to the lake. Uh huh. And then she got pissed off. So you guys were all in the car together, and you came to 7-Eleven together? No, because I pulled over here and told them both to get the hell out. Okay, she wanted her out of the car, and she didn't want to get out of the car, right? My grandson's in the car. And so what happened then? I my keys and then took the wipers and ran down the damn street and said, I'm going to get you arrested. And then she came back and then, God, I just punched her. Yes, I did. Put me in jail for that. But she was wrong. He punched God, her. God, yes, I did. I want both my children out of my... Just do something. Just... God. Well, I just want to make sure and get your story. Shut up. Okay. All right. Oh, look. I'm a... Well, we found the keys. 
Did you so, find my purse? No, but we found a lot of your other stuff. Yeah, because she threw everything. Okay. Well, we're going to look more. Is there yeah, ID well, or anything else? Um, yeah. Is it, a, is it in a wallet or is it just ID no. just loose in there? Everything. It's my purse. What color is it? It's black. Where did she throw it at? Where How were you guys? How in the hell do I know? She well, you know better than I do. I came from across I town. I know. Okay. If I knew, you think I would have sat in the car? Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we'll keep investigating and find out what's going on. All right. We'll look yeah. for your purse. She's not a happy customer. Mistake, young man. Does not mind doing that. They're, They're not mom's. yours. You're you're 15, but you don't have them in your pocket, huh? Go ask my mom who those are. I don't even smoke. called domestic battery. You're related in any way, shape, or form to somebody, including boyfriend, girlfriend. You hit them. I didn't hit them, dude. Ask my mom. That's I'm it. honestly telling you, though, dude. I'm not lying. Is this yours? That's not my mom. Huh? That's not my mom's, because I just picked everything up when I was seeing it. Well, if you watch him, sure. I'm going to see if mom claims he's sick or something. Yeah, that too, if I'm on the ground. This might be one of them. OK. The Bible's mine, the comb's mine, yes. And what about these? Those are his, right? I don't think so. Okay. Who's the 450 the on this? The mine. Huh? Who's is, is Here's gonna... your rush. And the column is mine. Okay. Here you go. The column in the Bible is mine. That's my verse. Where's my sheriff's card? Your what? So I this have a is sheriff's card. What? Yeah. Where's my sheriff's card? Here's... I have, I, I'm a keynote supervisor. Is my sheriff's card in there so I don't have to I pay I don't know. I'll that. look for it. It should be zippered up in the front part. Okay. Okay. Let's look. I have not done nothing wrong. You find out that God, my son didn't do anything wrong. It's my daughter. Well, right you know, now he's lying to me. I'm looking for a share. I don't appreciate being lied to. Oh, he's trying to protect one of no, us, but well, she is wrong. Job. I swear to God. Huh? She tore everything out of the car. She that well the cigarettes because I don't let him smoke. Okay. okay. That's why he's gonna lie to you about the cigarettes. Okay, I'll let What am I supposed to do with her? Turn around, look at me. Turn around, look at me. Yes, I am. You've been drinking? Yes, I have with okay, her. Okay, I don't see any marks on you, but she's got a heck of one on I, Well, because I just punched her out good, and I'll go for everything for okay. that. Okay. Fine. It's all he said, she said, you know, everybody's pointing fingers at everybody else, and the only one that looks like they got injured was uh, the daughter, but yeah. she had the child in her arms the whole time, and I think that was the determining factor on uh, who went to jail for battery. I think they endangered that child by fighting like that. How you doing? Good. The reason why I stopped you is you made the lane change in front of that van. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. That guy in front of me, I thought I was going to hit him there. Yeah, that's fine. Just hang tight right here. How you doing, Sarge? Good. I was just driving around and uh, watching these guys. They both, look, they both look like meth heads. This guy's a security guard for me. So. Okay. Scary. <laughs> Did you see him? Yeah. They, they both yeah. look like meth freaks. And when I'm watching up, the one guy reached over. I don't know. He put something in the console. I'll probably get him out in a minute. But he, he unbuckled his seatbelt at the same time. This dude's got like a lighter ready in hand. I don't. He's got a lighter and a flashlight. Did your car park? Okay, can I see your license, your registration, your insurance, please? Where are you headed? I'm taking him to work. Well, sir, if you would, go ahead and step on out, please. Let's move back in front of my car. Sir, keep your hands out of your pockets. Just move right over there, sir, if you would. Richard Lawrence Kennedy, get a break 12. Just turn around and face that way. Six foot 180 brown and green. Goes one through the city for proof insurance required, bill 910. Just step right up to the car, please. Uh, your license plates are currently suspended for mandatory insurance. Did you uh, step back over this way? You're going to get hit by a car. Um, did you get like a uh, in an accident or no tickets for no proof of insurance? Uh, long time ago. Sir, if you put your hands together like you're going to clap or pray, don't interlock your fingers. Pull them out straight. No, no, no. Put your hands together like you had them. There you go. Sometimes they grab them like this. It hurts if you got them interlocked. Back up. Back up. You've got no weapons or anything on you, Greg? No, I gun right there. OK, other than that, there's no other weapons on no. you? Is your identification in there? No. 
May I like them to shock no, myself? No, it's got an on-off on it right up top. Yeah, it's... Handcuff key? Change. No, it's a long cylindrical object. object. What's this? Can I take it out? I don't care. What are you doing with the pipe? What am I doing with it? Yeah. It was just happened to be there. What kind of drugs do you use? Is there another one? Yeah. What kind of drugs do you use? I'm not using drugs. Um, you see that thing that just dropped out of your pocket? Yeah. That's also a pipe. When was the last time you used? Probably middle of last summer. What's that? Probably middle of last summer. Middle of last summer? Why are you carrying pipes on you? I, like I said, I just, uh, I borrowed the shirt. I mean... You borrowed I, the shirt? You borrowed yeah. the pants? No, the pants are mine. Okay, because I found the one pipe in your front pocket, and then I find another uh, pipe up here in your shirt. So no, now you're the telling pants, me... The pants are mine. Huh? No, the pants are mine. All right, just uh, and type right up here. If you would go ahead and just turn around and face me, please. All right, just stay looking at me. Okay, what happens is I get this little piece of paper here, and what it tells me is all the uh, symptoms you get from being under the influence of a CNS stimulant, which methamphetamines are a central nervous system uh, stimulant. It says your pupil size should be dilated and your reaction to light should be slow, okay? Uh, I use your friend as a control group, right? I you, you, I do him. His pupils react to light very quickly like your pupil is designed to do and I do it on you and I'm getting a real slow reaction. So uh, uh, that's pointing to me the fact they think you're under the influence of a control substance right now. Uh, Would right? I have any do, anything to do with the fact that I just woke up or anything like that? No, uh, sleep right. has nothing to do with how your eyes work. Your, it's an involuntary muscle reaction. You have no control over it whatsoever. Yeah. Having no sleep, your eyes are red. Now that would be from no sleep, but not, not to do with the dilation of your pupils. I smoked a bowl of pot, I mean, a couple months ago, but I, that was... So you're telling me right now, if I arrest you for any influence control substance, and I booked you down there, and when they take your blood, it's gonna show that you're not, you don't have any kind of methamphetamine in your system at all. You're not gonna come up hot. I mean, you know you're high, I know you're high, you just don't think I know yet. You see what I'm saying? I you you need to be saying. honest with yourself, because one, you need to admit you have a problem, because you need to get help if you're under drugs and you want to get off of drugs, and you need to admit you have a problem. Okay? I mean, I know you're high. It's painfully obvious. I do this for a living. Okay? You know, I mean, you're sitting there telling me you're, you're, you're not high. I'm telling you, you're bouncing. You can't hold still. You don't even see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, you're high, right? Uh, yeah. Um, I got stoned. How long ago? Well, I'm assuming probably three, earlier four today. Hours ago. Okay. Three, four hours. Okay. Are you being honest with yourself? Okay. Do you want help? Do I? Yeah. Uh, I right. You need to get it's help. Cause... So is this yours or your girlfriend's? That is hers. Her, her is this, is this like yours? Hers and yours? No, you have your own mine. private stash? You have like his I, and hers? I, no, I, no, I don't even buy it. Okay, how do you use it? It was just given to me. Who, who gave it to you? She did. Where does she get it? I have no idea. She, I met her. I don't know. She's kind of a. I would just say it a whore. I don't know. How do you? How long you known this girl? Four months. Here, stand yes, face me. No, hang on. Face this direction. Face me. Feet together. Follow my finger. Keep looking at my finger. I'm I want sorry, your, I'm sorry. I want your eyes to go cross-eyed. That's a perfectly natural reaction when you do this. Okay, right now you're not on the influence of any kind of marijuana. Anytime you're under the influence of marijuana, your eyes will not converge. Unfortunately, you, you, your eyes are going cross-eyed. How long ago did you smoke it? I, it's been about four hours. What did you smoke it in? Just a regular little pipe. Uh, uh, where's that pipe at? Well, who's ever pipe that was? I don't know. There was a bunch of people standing outside. Shit in there. You want a belt in? 
Are they double locked? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and hop in. Yep. People that have these problems are just like alcoholics. They're people in every walks of life, and they just have to admit they have a, a problem and uh, go get their problem solved and get it fixed. Officer in Las Vegas is a, a bit of a unique experience in that this is a 24-hour town. You would think that on graveyard, as in most places in America, at 3 o'clock in the morning, most people are asleep and in bed at home, and there's nothing really going on. Whereas here, just the opposite is true. Nighttime is kind of the best time for people to be out and about and partying and doing whatever it is that they do. Um, the casinos, the hotels, all the gaming establishments are all open 24 hours a day. So it just, it never stops. The city never sleeps and the graveyard is as much fun to work as any other shift. Okay, the vehicle in front of us is uh, driving through a very high drug and robbery type of crime area. Uh, he ran a red light and he's got a tail light out. So basically want to stop him, check into status of driver's license, anything else, maybe question him as to what he's doing in the neighborhood. A bit of an investigative type stop. Control North 34467. North 34. And Henry Adams Ever. I'll be in the uh, northeast corner of Sierra Vista and Swenson. One North 34. Control 326, flight left for the van. Control 326, flight is 2248. You mind turn the vehicle off for me, please? Huh? Turn the vehicle, alto sucato, por favor. Alto sucato. Off? Yeah, shut the car off. Yeah. How you doing tonight? My name's Officer Kegley with Las Vegas Metro. No habla inglés? No. Okay. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit, poquito? Yeah. Okay. Why did you stop me? Why did I stop you? The red light right there at Cambridge and Lisbon, or the red the stop sign, you ran right through it. I do stop. You did not stop completely. Yeah. Uh, I'm not arguing with you. You didn't stop all the way. Okay, that's I'm telling you. That's why I stopped you. That and you also have one of your tail lights is out back here. Venga aquí. Right back here. Venga aquí. Okay. Aquí, amigo. Right there. Aquí. Yep. Aquí. And then just face the car. Okay. Alto, no metal. Frente mi carro. Sir, do you have anything sharp on you? Huh? Anything sharp, a pistola, a knife? No. Can I look? No. Huh? No. Can I check? No, no problem. No problem? OK. No problem. Mano aquí. Mano, mano, right here. Yeah, back here, back here. Hands together just like this right here. Turn around for me. Look at me right here. OK. Take it and touch it right here. Go ahead. Go ahead and do that now. No comprende? Yes. Your finger? That's right here. Partner? Partner. 413. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah. I don't understand. It's either an AR or it's an AK. I haven't pulled it out yet. Really? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and step in the car. Right here. I got a cell phone. No momentum. Where is it? It's an AK. Oh, yeah? SKS. And chambered. What is that? What is that? Is that yours? No, it's not mine. It's not yours? It's not mine. Okay. You're a spare bullet. I'll tell you what, I'm going to see if there's a G unit on and see if he knows anything about recent drive bys. Well, I mean, Where a high this, powered I mean, automatic this, rifle yeah, this is used. Yeah, custom down and everything. I mean, the guy put a bunch of nice little happy sticky oh, yeah. stars and everything on there. So, I mean, so at the very the least, bike. we're taking the car and we're taking the gun. Oh, we're absolutely taking I mean, he's even got this thing outrigged with a bayonet. Yeah. I mean, this kid's ready to rock and roll. Security has been advised of this. And it's clean. I mean, this is something that's, that's upkeeping this thing. Even the woodwork is polished for the most part. It's got a couple of dings and scratches. <laughs> this kid's got the bells and whistles and everything on this thing. Yeah. So 
Someone was going to do something bad. What's going in there? What's in the car? No, I'm just the one rifle under the front passenger seat. Locked and loaded. And you don't know whose rifle it is? What? You don't know whose rifle it is? How do you say? The rifle? The SKS? They don't, they don't speak any English at all. I don't, I don't know how it is. And they've, they've both been Mirandized, too, in Spanish. It's not mine. No, no, no. Underneath the passenger seat. He's got jacked up to his car. Cease and desist all crying tonight. <laughs> Boys are wired. <laughs> oh, you got wired up to his car, man. <laughs> Careful, careful. Oh. Oh, she's so... Back. Can you head that way? <laughs> On further interviewing the driver, he admitted to having some problems with some, some gangbangers earlier tonight. We checked the rifle. It wasn't stolen, and we couldn't tie it to any other crimes. So he'll never get his rifle back. So that's one more dangerous weapon that's off the street and out of the hands of someone who may may potentially use it to harm someone. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, 2514, 10, transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 